Okay. Now that we got the basic review out of the way, I know it's not very professional or whatever, whatever. Okay, it was just on the fly. But here's the DS. I'm going to go over um, the, the internet connectivity. Like I said, you can go Wi Fi. But another cool functionality is the Nintendo browser. Now, what you get when you buy the browser, you get your memory expansion, and you get your browser. Now, the browser is actually not Internet Explorer or anything like that. It is Opera. So, those, out, those of you out there who are familiar with Opera will appreciate what they crammed into this little itty bitty cartridge. So, let's go ahead and open this up. We still got the cooking game on here. Still displaying my mad cooking skills. Let's go ahead and uh, take this one out. And I'm going to show you the setup for wireless. Now, this is a dry run. Um, because I don't have wireless in here yet, but I will soon. Now, this is based off of um, connections I was able to get today from a couple of different places, including McDonald's, which has a deal with Wayport, which is providing internet, wireless internet for Nintendo DS owners. So, let's get our power. And close the clamshell. And my stylus is stored right there. And I'm going to take the game out. I'm going to take this little browser. I'm going to put this in here. Now, what you want to do before you get started, you pop this out. And in the DS slot, you put in your memory expansion pack. Okay, apparently I don't know how to put it in there. Okay. There we go. I'm going to piss in there. Nice in line with everything. Nice and smooth there. So, you open this up. If you can see this. Try to make it visible. The bad glare off my fan here, off my lights. Loads up. Oh, you're going to want to take the stylus out. Of course. The stylus. My DS thing loads up. And once this comes up, you can go to the Opera web browser. comes up. Down here, this part of the screen basically functions as a regular web browser. You got all the tabs across the bottom. You can do back forward. You can do uh, refresh. You can do history. And all your saved links in there. You can do key in the URL, give you a little screen there, with the touch keyboard, another very good implementation of the stylus in the touch screen. Uh, you got a couple other options down here, uh, now what I'm going to show you since I'm not online, I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to tell it to search for something, I'm going to just tell it. Uh, hmm. so, I don't know if you can see that, but I told it to search Oblivion, as in 
for Xbox 360. So I'm not connected until it's search. It says connected to the network. Now it gives me this right here because I don't have wireless set up at my house. But you go here. If you want to set up your wireless, you get this screen here. And then you just go. And you get the choice of, you can set up three different sets of connections. So if you have settings that require like a, a web or some kind of key, you can set one for like this one. If you want to do one that's like uh, just an open wireless connection, there's no extra settings or anything, you can just go and you know, set it and you know, just do an automatic thing and then it'll locate your, locate your, uh, connection but I don't have one. Next screen will come up and give you a list of connections. Uh, it's got a green little lock on it. You can pretty much just go right into it and connect. It shouldn't be any, any problem. But um, we need manual setup to add into static settings, uh, proxies, uh, <coughs> SSID, actually no, no proxies but uh, SSID, uh, web key, obtain IP address, automatic or uh, static, key and subnet mask, default gateway, uh, primary DNS, secondary DNS, all that. But pretty much uh, then AOS yes, uh, function there. But pretty much, you know, you just have, you know, search for access point, you can locate your access point and connect that way. If you have the USB adapter, you can just go to connect to the Nintendo USB uh, adapter, the Wi-Fi USB adapter, and connect there. One thing I wish they would have impl implemented for this would have been a uh, Ethernet kind of connection, or maybe some kind of adapter to, to connect a, a cord of some sort. But it's all Wi-Fi, but it's still all good because it makes you know an easy solution. And another good thing about the the browser is. Uh, you can save all your settings and um, all your connection stuff. You can save your stuff in your browser, your, your uh, favorites and all that stuff. But pretty much for viruses, one, viruses wouldn't know what to do on the DS or made for PCs. Um, two, to get rid of a virus. Let me show you how simple it is to get rid of a virus. If you did happen to get one, this is what you do right here. Deletes everything in RAM. If you happen to have something on there that was suspicious for some odd reason, but by viruses. So DS is pretty much virus free. So that's another really cool thing about the, the Wi Fi. I mean, there's not really much you can do to it virus wise. So, but that's the Wi Fi. And once I actually get connected somewhere, I'll make a video of the actual connections and all that, but that's it.